Hello, Mr. Riley. Uh, do you know where Laura is? Uh, she went for more tests. Oh. Uh, Pierce. Pierce. Thanks. Uh, Brooke, wait. I, I wanted to thank you for what you're doing for Laura. What exactly am I doing? <laughs> you're paying her bills. Laura doesn't know that, oh, does no, she? No, 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 no. I just... I asked Dr. Martin about her expenses and guessed that it was you. As long as she doesn't know. I won't tell her. Yeah, but it is very generous of you. Well, I'm, you know, after everything she's been through at the shelter, I... Yeah. I've had some things on my mind. What's that? Ever since my Aunt Phoebe brought me to your cabin a couple of weeks ago and we talked about a lot of things, you never even mentioned Laura. Should I have? Well, I mean, you were obviously sketching her. She was obviously living there. Why didn't you just say so? Simple. She uh, didn't want me to. Well, Laura's underage. I mean, did it ever occur to you that she was a runaway? It occurred to me. But she's very capable of taking care of herself. And she's got this thing about privacy, and I respect that, and I always will. Did you think possibly that her family might be looking for her? She said that she was on her own. I believed her. And it didn't occur to you to call the authorities? Why? She was safe. She was living under my roof. And after a while, she became, you know... After a while? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, she was hostile at first. And, I mean, well, she didn't leave. I mean, she's a city kid. She actually came to like living in the woods after a while. You don't see the problem here, No, do you? I don't. I see it as a solution. Laura was homeless. She's also alone. And she's a young woman. She's living with a man in a small cabin. Well, what are you getting at? I'm not accusing you of anything. It's just that Laura is a vulnerable young woman. She's living alone with a man in a small one-room cabin in the woods basically in the middle of nowhere and it might appear you know odd at best excuse me but nothing odd is going on look i yeah. you don't obviously have to defend yourself i'm sorry if uh if that's how i sounded forget it I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't help Laura at the one time when she could have used help, and I really want to make sure that she's safe. I want the same thing, Brooke. She's a terrific girl, and I care about her, but I care about her the way a father would care about a daughter. All right? Doctor, tell you I got two months to live or what? <laughs> no, actually, uh, we were just talking about uh, Miss Wallingford. She is so worried about her niece. You know, she acts more like a mother than an aunt. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, she's sure cool in my book, letting you stay in her cabin. Uh, so, what brings you here? I, I said I didn't want your help, and I meant it. Uh, take it easy, Laura. She's just here to make sure that you're okay. <clears throat> yeah, she's she's aces at making sure I'm okay. Really, I don't need you English. Laura, don't be disrespectful. Oh, yes, sir. Fine, I just won't talk to her at all. Does that solve the problem? Hey, Mateo, what's up? What you doing? Nothing, just waiting for Julia to get off duty. Well, can't you visit for a minute? Uh, looks like you have a full house already. Mm, that's okay. I I'm just leaving. Well? Laura. You know, I remember I told you about Mateo. He's the one who found me at the rest stop when I was sick. Oh, you're the young man that uh, took her to the hospital. You saved her life. I think the doctors did that. Yeah, but they couldn't have done it without you. I'm just glad to help. So you must be Pierce. Yeah. Yeah, she had a lot of good stuff to say about you. All good? What do you think? Well, I wasn't sure you'd gotten over the moss salad. And Pierce eats all kind of weird stuff, you know, nature's bounty and all that jazz. Yeah, just as long as it doesn't bite back, right? 
Uh, I'll walk you up, Brooke. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again. So, how's work? It's great. You know, it's getting kind of hard to do with school heating up and everything. Speaking of school, are you attending? Eh, scary thought. What, you're not feeling better? No, I'm actually, I'm fine. I mean, there's just some more test results or something that have to come in, and if they check out, I'm out of here. Laura, I, I've got to uh, go take care of that problem we were talking about earlier. Right. Good uh, luck. Yeah, I'll get back to you, okay? Promise? Yeah. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much for, for covering for me in there. Well, I think it would have just upset her to know that you were paying her bills. Will you just let me know how she's doing? I'd be glad to. Thank you. Bye. Who was that? <laughs> 